Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my September Birchbox unboxing video, but before I get into that, I'm going to give you a review of last month's Birchbox products. If you haven't seen that unboxing video, there will be a link in the description below. Uh, overall, I would say I really enjoyed last month's Birchbox products. The only product that I actually didn't end up keeping was the leave-in hair conditioner, and I ended up giving that to my sister. Honestly, I'm really bad at judging whether something is good for my hair or not. Honestly, as long as my hair is clean, I don't really think about it that much. So I don't really put a lot of products in my hair, and so I didn't really feel like I needed that product, so I give it away to my sister. However, I do have all of the other products here to give you a review of. So the first thing I have is the um, Wild About Beauty eyeshadow color. Um, it's in the color Fern, and this is what it looks like. Um, if you haven't seen me wear this, I've worn it in a couple of my videos. I actually wore it in my uh, last haul video, and I wore it on its own. And honestly, I think it is a good color. It's a nice neutral color. However, I wouldn't wear it on its own. I was wearing it on its own in the unboxing video, and... I feel like it's a little bit much to wear on its own so I would rather use this as a base colour and then add other natural colours to sort of blend it out more so that it's not so in your face because it is a bit too orangey to wear on its own I think. Um, the next thing is the Fazanti Brighten Up Enzymic Face Rejuvenator um, which looks like this and I guess that is just a fancy word for face wash. Um, Honestly, I really like this product. Um, it has like minerals and stuff like that, and so it's very grainy, which means when you rub it into your skin, it does feel a bit rough. But I really like that about um, this face wash because it's very cleansing and it leaves your skin feeling super smooth. So I really did enjoy this. The only thing I would say is that I feel like there wasn't a lot of product inside this bottle. I feel like I didn't get as much out of it as I would have liked, or. I just used too much to wash my face every time, but I definitely didn't get as many washes out of this as I would have liked. So the next thing is the Dead Sea Spam Magic Refreshing Bath and Shower Gel, and this is what it looks like. Um, honestly, I'm a little bit unsure how to feel about this product, uh, mainly because when I first tried it, it does come out bright blue, and that shocked me a little bit. I mean. Obviously, when you try something out for the first time, you don't expect it to come out bright blue, depending on what you've bought. I mean, I guess for shower gel, it's not that weird, but it definitely was a surprise to me. One thing that I didn't like about this product is it has a really strong smell, and I don't really know how to describe what that smell is, but it is a very strong smell, and I do not like it, which is kind of what put me off using this product. However, I think it is a good product for what it is. I mean, it's shower gel. You can't really go wrong with it. Other than the smell, I don't really have a lot to say about it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of the smell. Um, and then we have the Super Goop CC Cream, which looks like this in this tiny container. Um, I didn't really know what a CC Cream was whenever I tried it. I didn't even do research on what it was, but I'm assuming it's kind of just like a light cover-up, which is really perfect for summer and really perfect for me because I actually don't like to put on a lot of makeup all the time because I feel like it's way too much of my face. Um, so this is really good. Plus, this little container holds so much product. Like, you don't need a lot of this. Like, you put a little bit on your face and it does really good coverage. So the fact that they give you like two of these is amazing because I haven't even finished one of them and I've been using it on and off all month so I really really like this product. Uh, I feel like it does blend really well into my skin. The only thing I would say is that I don't like the texture of it when it's on my skin. Like I feel like I can't touch my face whenever I'm wearing it because then I feel like the makeup's going to come off. Although I feel like that with almost all my makeup. Like even if I'm wearing foundation or something I feel like I can't touch my face or else it's going to come off or something like that. So. Maybe that's just a thing with me, I don't know, but I did really like this product. Um, and the last thing here is the book sample, the proposal by Tashmina Perry. And I actually didn't end up getting to read this um, over the past month, so I'm really sorry that I can't give you a review on this. However, I do kind of want to read it because it looks interesting. Um, but yeah, I'll get around to reading it eventually. But if you guys really want a review on it, I'm pretty sure you can find someone else who's done a review on it because... You know, plus they've probably done a review on the whole book, so that's probably better than me giving you a review of this sample. 
So that was everything in last month's brush box. I feel like I was talking really, really fast during that part of the video and I apologize. I will try and slow it down for this part of the video, but I can't make any promises because I'm so excited to unbox this. This month when my brush box came to my door, it looked like this. And I mean, normally we just get a plain brown box every month, but because it is patterned I know that there's going to be something good inside I mean at first I did think it was Christmassy for some reason I don't know it just looks kind of Christmassy to me because it's green but it's actually um filled with like beauty products and stuff it's not Christmassy and it says happy days on the front so how can you not be happy about something that shows up to your drawer looking like this so right from the get-go I'm super excited to see what's inside so I'm not going to wait any longer I'm going to open it up um oh it actually says something on the inside. It says put your happy picture here. So I'm going to have to look for a happy picture, guys, and show you next month. So stay tuned for that. Um, I think that's really cute, and I guess it gives you something to do with your actual birch box boxes, because I wasn't really sure what to do with mine. So I guess um, I will use it to put my photos in. Um, so moving on, we have our little birch box pouch, which we get every month, and it looks like this. Um, I recently have actually started to use these pouches to put my makeup in. I was kind of resisting using them for a while, but I've finally given in because it's actually a really great way to organize your makeup products. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but um, obviously we have our cards that we get every month. Um, this one tells us what products that we got in this month's brush box. Um, we also got quite a lot, more than um, other um, past brush boxes. I think there's like seven products this month and normally we only get six or even five so that's amazing one more product than normal and then we also got um keep your happy memories close by with photo box um this is a discount thing for the photo box service i've never heard of it but apparently um they print out your photos in a fancy way so I guess I will look into that. I mean, normally I just print my photos by myself um, because I think it's less expensive than getting them printed off with the service, but I will definitely try that out since I have a discount. So yeah, that's really good. And then we have our little um, tips and tricks uh, that we get every month and people's happy photos, I'm guessing that is. Um, but yeah. Uh, I know I say that I'm going to read this every month, but I actually don't read it, and I know that's really bad because all the stuff here looks really, like, interesting and really informative, so I guess I should probably read it sometime, get around to reading them all, because I don't throw these away, I keep them, so I guess I should get around to reading them. And then, at the bottom of the box, it says, oh, happy day, so... Obviously, the Birch Box people want us to be very happy this month, and I'm so glad that they do because obviously September is the month where school starts, and it's not always that happy, but this definitely brightened up my day. So, moving on to the actual pouch. Um, sorry about the sign there, it's crinkling. But yeah, I mean, we got a bunch of stuff this month, so I'm really excited. Um, the first thing that I have is... Uh, some healing oil it's a hair treatment thing I think um, this is the container that it comes in it's quite big for like this thing at the bottom um, this is what the actual little container looks like uh, I don't really know how to apply oil to my hair or anything like that so I'm gonna have to give it a go however I might just end up giving it to my sister because like I said I don't really know if something's good for my hair or not as long as my hair is clean I don't really bother with it um oh we have this little thing i think it's supposed to be like for photos it's like a photo clip i'm gonna have to open this up yeah so it's a little birch box photo pin thing that you hold photos in or like put papers in and stuff and it just is a little clip here and then on the back it says happy days so again the birch box people want us to be very happy um i also got um a mild dermabrasion face and body scrub um this is a very small container if it's a face and body scrub i don't know how much of this kind of thing you're supposed to use but this looks so small so i don't know how much use i'm gonna get out of it but i'm really excited about it especially because it has the word dermabrasion you know when something has a super long fancy word that it's gonna be exciting to use so i'm excited about that um i also got um it's potent eye 
Cream from Benefit. Brightening eye cream to fear dark circles. Um, and it looks like this. It comes in this little box. Um, I've noticed that all Benefit products come in like proper like little package boxes as samples. Normally you just get like the sample product and that's it. But I kind of want to know what this looks like. Um, because it's in a box. Uh, I just ripped the box which is really great. Uh, anyway. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Like look at this little container. I think that's so cute. I actually really like Benefit stuff. Maybe not for the actual usage, but because it's pretty. Um, and then at the top, it obviously tells you that it's potent. It's an eye cream, which is always good because I always have dark circles under my eyes. So the next thing is Coors Citrus Shower Gel, and it looks like this. It's just a long bottle. Um, I'm actually really excited about this because in my very first birch box, I got a Coors um, Coconut Milk um, Body Rub, which you put on your body after the shower, and I really loved it. So I hope that this is going to be as good as that. Obviously, it's a different product. It's a shower gel, but I hope I really like it as much as the body butter because that was really good. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, and then I also have a lip liqueur in the color Morocco. I think this is like a little lip gloss or something. Yeah, okay, so I got a little lip gloss and this is what the little thing is. Um, it's so small. Although knowing me, this little lip gloss container will last me forever because as a girl, I tend to have a lot of lip gloss and I don't wear that lip gloss a lot. So I tend to just have stacks and stacks of lip gloss that I've never used and I've never finished a lip gloss container but I'm determined to one day. So maybe it'll be this one because it's smaller. And finally, the last thing in my birch box is Urban Fruit. It's a snack pack. I'm not really sure what this is. I've never heard of it, but that's what it looks like. Um, some fruit snacks in the flavor of strawberry. Uh, don't really know how to feel about that. The only other time I've ever gotten food in my birch box was when I got this proper corn thing, and that was really weird. So I don't know how to feel about this. Sounds kind of ghetto, just because it says it's urban. But yeah, I guess I'm excited to try that as well as everything else. So that was everything in this month's Birch Box. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Honestly, I'm so, so excited to try all these Birch Box products this month. And I can't tell if it's because of the box that they came in or because we got more products than normal. I'm just so, so excited to try all of them. So look out for next month's video whenever I talk about them and what I thought. Also, leave me a comment below letting me know if you guys get a subscription box as well because I'm always interested to find out what kind of subscription boxes there are out there. Honestly, I've only heard of like three or four subscription services. Um, I know there's Birchbox and Ipsy and I also heard of this one in America. I don't know if they do it over here but it's called Barkbox and it's literally a monthly subscription service where they will send out dog toys to you and I think that's a little extreme to get a subscription box for your dog but you know I don't judge if you guys do that for your dogs but yeah it's kind of insane and yeah I think that's everything so I will see you in my next video bye guys